I oh, think absolutely. naturally. You can, yeah. You, I mean, yeah. yeah you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the that some good questions. <laughs> I'm like, these are hopes. <laughs> <good. laughs> no, so I'm like, bro, you just yeah, yeah, you, 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 you shoot them out. You're watching Black Tree on TV. 100 bucks, you can't make more shots. Let's just do 300. It's not my dad's money. We ain't never gonna get a reparation that way, bro. So I prefer Venmo or Zelle, but you seem like a Cash App guy, so. Ladies and gentlemen. Saw the movie this morning, really enjoyed it. Uh, the chemistry you two share really felt authentic and honest. Was that an instant connection or was it worked through with like rehearsal? I think it was a little bit of both, yeah, right? Yeah. Because we know each other. Like I think yeah. over the years we've 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 worked together before, mm -hmm. we've we've been around each other before, and there's always been a consistent support that we've yeah. had for each other. So when we got an opportunity to do this again, it was like, yo, I'm getting to work with my friend. Yeah. And I like and I, and I and I love her so much and I care about her so much. I want to support her so much. Mm -hmm. And so it was natural for us to jump in and to go, let's let's create, let's play. I got you. And right. she was like, I got you. And so when people see it on the screen and they go, Man, you guys have such a great magnetic chemistry yeah. Yeah. and support each other. I'm like, well, that's really us off screen, just supporting one another. Yeah. And I think you you mentioned something earlier, because we've been in interviews all day, but you yeah. mentioned something earlier about, you know, um, it being rare that, you know, People show up for one another, especially mm -hmm. on set. It's every man for themselves. Do yes. I look good? Do I sound good? All right, babe, you got my angle. I'm out. You feel what I'm saying? And I think with us, it's like we, it was really a, a real family bond and like showing up for one another for real, mm -hmm. whether I'm on the screen or not. You feel what I'm saying? Like just being there. And I think that's what made it, you know, super natural. And both knowing that we were, we were going to the same finish line. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a goal and we had a responsibility. And we didn't want to fuck this up. Mm -hmm. So we knew that we had to come correct, especially if we were going to sample such a classic record to make our to make this record into our own, yeah. you know? Especially when you start adding your own bass line, you start switching up the melody, you start mm -hmm. boom, 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 boom. You wanna definitely make sure that that shit is on point and is well mixed, yeah. you know? Is You know, you wanna, you wanna make sure it's the, mm -hmm. the, the most perfect, the most beautiful record ever. Yeah. And I feel like you both accomplished that, definitely. Thank so. you. <laughs> and mm -hmm. looking back at like both of your careers, whether it's Teen Wolf or mm -hmm. Power or Brian mm -hmm. Cornelius and the many multi-hyphenate things that you mm -hmm. do, both of you are never put in a box. Is yeah. that right. something that you intentionally do with your career, and do you feel like people try to put you in a box? I oh, think naturally. You can, yeah. you, I mean, yeah, yeah you want to... <laughs> I'm like, these are hopes. I'm like, bro, you just, yeah, you, 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 you shoot them you know, out. Because I think about something, like she said, we've done so many interviews, and, and, and someone said earlier about, you know, with T specifically, like being so strategic and specific about her choices, right? And as an artist, you get defined by your choices. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that I'm, I've, I've learned over the years is to be critical that you don't get put in a box because right. naturally people want to have a definition of you, yeah. right? And that's preconceived when you walk in the yeah. door just as a human, mm -hmm. as a woman, as a man, as a black man, as a black woman. You walk in and you have to say, no, I'm not that one thing monolithically, so what am I going to do differently? Yeah. And it's right. to, and when you play different characters, you play in different sandboxes yeah. all the time. But also, I think being prepared to know that not wanting to be stuck in a box is going to come with a lot of non-believers. It's, yeah, it's going to be a lot of isolation, you know, and, it, and it's, it's a faith walk. Yeah, you know proof. what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a faith walk, and the enemy's going to come, and they're going to throw things in a road for you to skirt over and crash. Yeah. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's just like you got you to keep going with faith. Mm -hmm. And a part of making sure you don't allow people to take you out of a box is is to continue your faith path. And you reinventing know? yourself too. Yeah. I think creatively all the I think the artists that we actually look up to and admire, right. mm -hmm. um, if we ever unpack that conversation, it's probably artists who always every few years made a new rendition of themselves, right? Okay. To say this is something different. And we get the yeah. opportunity because mm -hmm. we inhabit characters and we say, boom. Like yeah. we everyone has been talking about Imani and Kamal, mm -hmm. Kamani and Come like on. what that relationship is and how great Tiana did. And then everyone's talking about a thousand and one and saying, wow, I didn't know. Yeah. Right. But it's like, but if you knew her, you would know. Mm -hmm. But just like allow, don't put people in the box. Just go and say, let me see, right? right. Cast without any judgment. And then you get to say, okay, you can create in all these spaces. But like you said, there's going to be doubters and you have to have fortified skin yeah. and a village, which mm -hmm. is one thing that we represent in this movie is having yes. that community. Mm -hmm. You have to have a village that says you can. And even and, and it's never just done. It's a work in progress yeah. always. You must be Tatiana and Jeremy. I'm Imani, Kamal's wife. So nice to meet you. Hey, thanks for having us. Yeah, no problem. Hennessy. Oh, yeah. You, yeah. It's, it's one of my favorite cognacs, you know, so. 
people have no idea how much care goes into making this such a smooth, warm blend. Like, seriously. And they've been doing it since 1765. I feel like it's slept on. Um, OK. Auntie, uh, can you turn for us so we can jump from? Yeah, boo, I'm coming. All right. I'll be right there. Thank you. Can I help? Yeah, come on. Let me know if you guys need any backup. Boy, get out of here. Absolutely. One thing, I, another aspect I loved about the movie is with Kamal, there was like this kind of uh, rage that he had as a black man yes. that felt kind of, you know, justified. And I feel yeah. like we all have it. And, you know, like you were mentioning, we walk into a room yeah. and we're looked at uh, a certain way. Yes. And throughout the movie, they're mentioning therapy and stuff like that. How big is mental health for, for both of you, but specifically as a black man? I think for me, I, I'm a big advocate for mental therapy at this point in my life. I've become a catalyst and want to speak about it in the community in a very authentic way, mm -hmm. inspiring, you know, young women and men, young black men specif specifically, to say it's okay. You do not have to have it all. Those, those mm -hmm. are tools and resources that are created for you so that you can be your most healthy self. And I think that's what's given me personally the tools to, to focus on my mental health to walk in with such light and such groundedness and such humility because I'm not allowing myself to be afflicted by mm -hmm. external judgment. Right. I'm releasing that in spaces. And when people yeah. find that, they can find peace. Yeah, and I must agree. And I just love that that is all translating on screen mm -hmm. because in the generation that we are in right now is a very egotistical uh prideful and 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 you know a little bit of toxic when it comes to just love and choices and and, and mental and a lot of people feel like they don't have the voice or the the support you know and i think yeah. that this movie shows that like you're not the only one you know what i'm saying like everybody's in this together and hopefully this can help you because you know in this movie kamal had some anger issues, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He had some real issues that he couldn't get through. So to see him transition, you know, and, and to see his growth mm -hmm. hopefully will inspire um, other men and women to, to take these kind of things more serious and understand that it is okay and that there are people out there that's going through the same thing and hopefully this bring everybody together to be able to work through whatever it is that they need to work through. Absolutely, and I think the, I think the movie uh, is definitely going to accomplish that. So, thank you. Uh, pleasure speaking to both of you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, bro. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you.